I am giving a big round of applause for your moderator, the director of the conference, because you will get booted out if you do not, because the director has powers that none of us have. The director, <coughs> Kathy Hacker. That's how you do it. I'm a little tiny, so I'll bring this down. Okay, guys, can you guys get seated so we can start? Can you hear me okay? All right, so I'm going to get everyone to get everyone seated. Has everyone had a great time today? Awesome. So we're going to finish up really strong today with an amazing, amazing panel that a lot of you guys are going to totally be interested in and have lots of questions. Um, I do want to give a big shout out to Jeff Jones. Jeff, where are you? Jeff Jones with Sapos is one of the people, one of the brands that's here as well. So Jeff, thank you for coming. We really appreciate it. So he goes, so he goes into my scopes as Sapos, and I'm like, oh, Sapos is in my scope. Okay. Woo! That's a nice perk. <laughs> Awesome. See, that's why you, that's, yeah, that's why you can't miss the next one. Next Periscope Summit, don't miss it, y'all. <laughs> All right, so um, I want to start by giving a quick um, introduction to everyone here on the panel, and then I'll let them tell you a little bit more about themselves and how their brands are using Periscope. So we're going to start with Sairam Chala, we call him Sai, with Sandisk, who's actually one of our presenting sponsors. So big shout out to Sandisk. Awesome. We've got Joe Martin with Adobe. Hey. And Sublet with the Central Park Conservancy. So, woo, Central Park. We love Central Park. Shanda Maloney with the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC. Team Rousey. <laughs> And Ron Pruitt with Al Roker Entertainment, who I've been in contact with a lot lately. So, Ron, thank you. And thanks for Al Roker for being part of the roundtable yesterday that we had. So um, I want to start it off by talking a little bit about how each brand here is using Periscope. And uh, maybe talk a little bit about what the strategy has been or how you first started. So uh, we'll start with Cy and then we'll go down. Um, anyway, so uh, we came across Periscope. We've been looking at Periscope as a channel for a while now. We've been, we've been doing film some marketing, and then we got in touch with Ryan there. Ryan came to oh, we have some stuff for you guys, and we looked at the products. We have a lot of products that are perfect for action and nuclear film, as you guys see outside. And uh, and so what we did was, okay, we were launching a product in the middle. We should have many products to, you know, uh, Alex Perfect, you know, all, all the big names out, and we sent that uh, product out, and we on the launch day did a live unveiling the product as we launched it uh, with the press. We also did it worldwide with the scopers, and that was amazing. We had about 10,000 live viewers that day. We've never done that before, and influencer marketing is definitely like right? brands talking with one and having influencers on it. And that's how we started first. So, and since then, we've been pushing it a lot, and as you can see, we're just launching the event, which is looking awesome to us. So, thank you all for coming. So, uh, we're using Periscope in a couple of different ways. Mostly, probably think of uh, they actually have three different clouds. Create Cloud is, is Photoshop. Um, document Cloud, which Ron said, yeah, that's it. And Marketing Cloud, which I think he yeah, has. I work on that. So uh, we have a team that does a lot of content creation. Uh, and Adobe Connects, we are also here. We have about 50 reports a year. And I've personally been monitoring Periscope on social media for now. I see the usage grow, uh, how much growth there was, and there was some happy hour, right? I mean, the happy hour, mm -hmm. right? How much growth there was at the end of it was the first. Um, and, then, and then on the corporate side, we've done a lot with behind the scenes events at conferences. Uh, we have the Blue Summit where we have Steve Young speak, uh, Michael Keaton speak, and then Stage. We've also done some of 
Kathy. She kind of brainstorming on the flip side of how we're working on some projects for philanthropy. And then um, we kind of research. The M word. You can say the M word. It's okay.
living with your own parents. And, um, you know, frankly, we're just having a really good, a good time here. We've learned a lot, and we've made mistakes. And um, we're playing with content. And you know, my background is comedy, live shopping, and content. And I did a few days in the week, and we had a week this week. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. So thanks to, for sharing everyone what you guys do and how your brands are using it. I'm not. I'm going to ask questions. We're going to open it up. You guys can you know add if you want to. Um, so you mentioned influencer marketing. So my question to to the brands here is: Is influencer marketing the best way that brands can reach audiences on Periscope? So I just want to throw that out and have you guys. Uh, Give your opinions, you know, just whoever wants to go first. We can just go from this atmosphere. I mean, we've had some feedback on Twitter, we could do this whole thing, but I just feel that the influencer side is just more different. I mean, it's not that when brands don't do it, it is, but mm -hmm. it's just that if somebody else wants to make a brand, your product is just, you know, selling it, right? <laughs> there is always a little thing that when we talk about it, it's selling it. So, we can definitely do it, but we don't do as many scopes as uh, we could do just because we can But uh, we can be showing behind the scenes, the products, but influencers around the world have people that are using uh, media platforms, right? So uh, it's kind of a great way to reach out to more audience than we have. Thank you. <laughs> just jumped in on my path and people were like, where's your from? And then started saying, you know, like, all the people are And people were like, oh my god, I'm going to get this community. So, um, to me, they're my influencers. And it's my job mm -hmm. to win them over to join me in my path. So I kind of, I We want them to become champions of our brand. We want to support them. So we have to do influencer briefings with them and what they're doing on the brand side. That's kind of how we can support them on the brand side. And if you give the exam, your products and your programming, that's how we can pay you. Hey, Mom, can you see any diapers for college? Yeah, did you check the closet? Which one? It's a technical term, yeah.
you're so afraid of the We can buy you more, don't worry. Daddy has a huge box of those. Really? Yeah. Can you show me the huge box? Mm -hmm. The box is in the room. The box is in the room where he's sleeping, so I can't. Can you get Neo and give it to your brother? What? Neo, this bag. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I did. Ron, you bring me to my next point that I wanted to ask you guys. How do you think that live streaming platforms are going to impact customer service? It, it, you know, how are they going to impact it? How are you, you guys can just jump in. <laughs>
That's great. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about what is your opinion as to why a lot of brands, I mean, because you guys are all really, you know, uh, pioneers. Everyone here has adopted Periscope and is using it in some way or another. But there's lots of brands that have been slow to adopt and have waited kind of in the sidelines. I was at a conference not too long ago and someone from a major automotive company was saying, oh, no, no, just, you know, don't adopt it yet. Just wait and see. And I was kind of like, that's the worst advice ever. Um, so what, why do you think some brands, most brands, I would say, are kind of like a little standoffish and not, you know, kind of fearful of the platform? We are very excited. My name is Kathy Campbell. I'm the director of 
the next fight, we're going to capture that when she gets to the water. <laughs> another question to all of you and I'd love to get your answers. Um, I recently wrote an article for a, a blog post for the Huffington Post on whether um, live streaming, mobile live streaming was the missing link between television and social media. Um, and actually I was, I was going to be on a panel with Ron and Shannon in Miami, uh, didn't make it in time. Um, but anyway, kind of wanted to get your opinions on that. You guys choose, you guys make... I don't watch TV. There's the answer. You don't watch TV. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. So we looked at um, uh, shows being asymptomatic with their social strategies for all the different shows that come out. And I know that I heard them say it was about the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also looked at other things like actors and how with the social promotion leading up to the events, uh, how much more involved did the show get? Was uh, Wagner not too involved? Was Wagner herself more involved? The show that happened to be on the audience. And a lot of those actors were using. Wow. That's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what happened.
<laughs> That's Yeah, that's the big difference. Um, I think we're going to open it up for a few questions. We've got a couple of minutes for questions. So, does anyone have any questions out here in the audience? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
One last question down here. Right. <laughs> just do it. <coughs> <coughs> 
crazy. in fashion. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we got to wrap up. Thank you. Thank you, Cy from Sanders. Thank you, Joe from Adobe and from Central Park Conservancy, Shonda from the UFC, and Ron from Al Roker Entertainment. Sapos, Jeff, thank you. Thank you to T-Mobile as well, guys. Thank you to T-Mobile as well. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.